On the one hand, we have a story of revival and heroism. That's the story that I was brought up with, and that's the story that the West has accepted. This is the Zionist narrative. We, the Jews, returned after 2,000 years in exile. We, because we are reasonable people, accepted the partition plan. We were attacked viciously by Arabs. Thankfully, because we are the descendants of King David and we are the descendants of the Maccabees, we defeated the evil empire, the evil Arabs, and we were able to conquer the land and for the first time after 2,000 years establish a homeland for the Jews in their historical biblical uh, country, in their historical biblical homeland. Now tell me if this doesn't sound like a whole new chapter in the Bible, in the Old Testament. It is so romantic. It is so heroic. It is so biblical. It is so messianic. How could it possibly be not true? How do we reject such an amazing story? And that is the story that the West has accepted. And this is the story that as Israelis we, uh, we are taught. The other story, like I said, doesn't differ in date or nuance. The other story is a story of ethnic cleansing, occupation, and horrific terrorism. That is the Palestinian narrative. It is a horrifying story. Now, Palestinians have been saying this from the very beginning, but of course, nobody believes the Palestinians because we can't believe Arabs. About 20 years ago, several Israeli historians the chief of whom is Ilan Pape, rewrote the history of 1948, dispelling the myths and validating the Palestinian narrative. Now, like I said, when Arabs say this, when Palestinians say this, when Muslims say this, of course we can't believe it. When an Israeli Jew of German background says it, now it's believable. Now people are beginning to pay attention. And only then when Elon and the others started writing about this, people in the West began paying attention and they validated the Palestinian narrative, which is, like I said, a story of, 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 of ethnic cleansing and terrorism and occupation. Now, for Israelis, this narrative, the narrative of heroism and revival, is the holy grail. Israelis, it is part of our identity. It is part of who we are. We will defend this, and we do, or Israelis do try to defend this with everything they've got. It's a crucial element. It's a crucial part of Israelis' identity, of, of, of the identity of Israel and Israelis. And unless we understand these two narratives and how important they are, we will never understand the conflict. We will never understand what is happening in Palestine.